Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. It's 2022, y'all. It's 2022. What does that mean? It means we're dealing with inflation. We're dealing with rising interest rates. We're dealing with a rising real estate market, right? We're, we're actually dealing with the rising interest rates because uh, the Fed is trying to, you know, curtail the rising housing prices, right? Gas is expensive, right? That's what we got going on. So what does that mean for you? What does that mean for me? What does that mean for real estate investors? It means it's time to get back to the basics, folks. It's time to get back to the fundamentals. And by that, I mean it's time to start paying attention to things that we've been looking at for decades when it comes to rentals. That's buying rentals in stable neighborhoods that achieve the 1% rule, okay? This ain't coming out of the biggest housing crisis in the history of America, right? This ain't 2010, it ain't 2012, it ain't 2014, okay? We got to get back to the fundamentals. 2% rule, 3% rule, 4% rule, that stuff ain't happening in reasonable neighborhoods, right? So let's focus on uh, the basics here, 1% properties. And that, folks, is what I got for you right here. Pow! 1500 Dill Road, Euclid, Ohio, priced at 89 Nine. Now, all we would need to do is rent this bad boy for about $900 a month, and it'd be right there, a nice little stable 1% property for you. But in fact, this one's going to do a little bit better, right? We're probably going to get about 1100 in rent for this one, right? That's why so many people from across uh, America are coming to the U.S., or, I mean, from America and in the U.S. are coming to Cleveland from whatever market in the U.S. they're in. That's what I'm trying to say. Because with all those rising prices and things of that nature, Cleveland is still uh, one of those places that's going to hit you with the biggest cash flow. But again, it ain't going to be that 2%, 3%, 4% rule, at least not in stable neighborhoods, right? So Cleveland is still one of those markets where you can achieve the 1% rule. And in this case, get a little gravy on top, right? And as far as the neighborhood goes, this is a solid neighborhood, folks. Euclid, Ohio. I like it. Suburb of Cleveland. I don't know. It's like 20 minutes west. I mean, east, east rather. 20 minutes east of Cleveland. 35 minutes if you drive slow. All right. It's right there on the lake. If you review the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, which I have uh, conveniently linked for you below this video, I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale. Uh, a being your super expensive owner-occupied neighborhoods, right? Doesn't typically pan out to any type of cash flow uh, for real estate investors. Neighborhoods like that, uh, the owner-occupants are driving like, you know, 99% of the sales, right? So you really don't get uh 1% roll in neighborhoods like that. But the, the remainders, your Bs, your C, your D, and your F, that's where rental property investors have some big sway in the neighborhoods. And I've graded this as a B. So of all the rental neighborhoods, this is probably one of the least risky, which is good, right? We're getting back down to the fundamentals here. We want to get nice homes, right? Nice, well-taken-care-of homes that are going to achieve the 1% rule. In this case, again, a little bit of gravy on top. And they're going to be in decent areas, right? I've liked Euclid for many years. A few years ago, they just put in a new Amazon fulfillment center, which is nice, right? They took over this big, huge, gigantic, uh, vacant piece of real estate, right, that was just sitting there decaying, doing nothing, and then they flipped that bad boy into thousands and thousands of jobs, right? That's part of the reason we're able to generate such a high rent, right? $1,100, folks. The people that are going to be renting houses in this price range, they're the kind of people that work at places like Amazon Fulfillment Centers, right? So all told, it's pretty perfect. On top of that, as you can see from the footage, it's turnkey, ready to rock, coming to you guys with a clear point of sale inspection report. And if you don't know what that means, uh, you could check out the show notes below. I have a whole video explaining to you guys what the point of sale inspection reports are in the Cleveland market, right? They're not in every city in Cleveland. They're not even in every city in the Cleveland market, I should say. And they're not even actually in the city of Cleveland, uh, but they are in some of their suburbs, right? In the Cleveland market, 
right? Because a lot of you guys, you're looking on the outside here. You're coming to the Cleveland market uh, from all over the USA, right? So oftentimes you guys kind of like lump everything in this Cleveland market into Cleveland, but Cleveland's a small piece of the pie, folks. Cleveland's got like 300 something thousand people living in it. The whole market, the market Holton Wise operates, the market, uh, you see me discuss all these cash flow properties. We're talking a population of like four to five million, tons of different cities and suburbs, things like that. And Euclid is one of them. So the, the rules, the laws, the regulations in a place like Euclid is slightly different than Cleveland right so they don't have uh those lead certification laws that cleveland has but they do have point of sale laws which are slightly different so that's why i got it in the notes the point of sale inspection uh process is explained in a video in its entirety and in addition if you're looking at properties in cleveland you might want to check out that lead paint video as well but as far as this property goes if this one makes sense to you if you're running your numbers and you're saying hey man that's going to be a nice, solid investment. To buy it, all you got to do is send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Uh, let us know the amount you want to offer. Include your pre-approval or proof of fund statement with that offer. If you're local or you're traveling to the area and you need to get inside, you want to get a physical tour, we can absolutely accommodate you. Uh, shoot us an email letting us know. If you're working with another real estate agent as your buyer's agent, that's cool too. Uh, information on how they could submit an offer on your behalf and how they can set up a tour with you for you uh, is going to be in the MLS. So let your agent know to check the broker notes in the MLS. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.